Very, the time for answering the question has expired. Senator Muir. Thank you, Mr. President. My question is for the Minister for, fi uh, for Finance, representing the Minister for Small Business, Senator Cormann. Uh, it is now the 12-month anniversary of the voluntary code of conduct in relation to automotive service and data repairs between manufacturers and independent repairers. When the voluntary code of conduct was agreed to, there was a provision for it to be reviewed in 12 months' time. Considering that the 12-month mark has been reached, is the government considering reviewing the effectiveness of the voluntary code of conduct as, uh, of the voluntary code of conduct as per the agreement itself? The Minister for Finance, representing the Minister for Small Business, Senator Cormann. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. I thank uh, Senator Muir for that question. Uh, the development of the voluntary code of practice access to service and repair information for vehicles, for motor vehicles, uh, was in fact uh, a two-step process. Uh, the former uh, Minister for uh, Small Business, Bruce Bilson, facilitated its development uh, through the signing of a heads of agreement to the and I'm quoting, agreement on access to service and report uh, information for motor vehicles by the Federal Chamber of Automotive Industries, the Australian Automobile Association and the Australian Automotive Dealers Association on 15 December uh, 2014, so nearly uh, 12 months ago. Uh, this is what enabled the development of the voluntary code of access to service and repair information for motor vehicles by the Federal Chamber of Automotive Industries in February of this year. Uh, the voluntary code has only been in existence since February 2015. Uh, the code states in clause 1.4 that, and I'm quoting, an initial review of the code must be conducted within 18 months of the commencement of the code, and, and in accordance with the code, the government <coughs> expects the review to be conducted by August 2016. Thank you, Minister. <coughs> Senator Muir, a supplementary question. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I ask a supplementary question. Uh, in an average three-month period, 6.5 million vehicle owners have their vehicle serviced. 42% 40, of these vehicle owners elect to use an independent repairer. Uh, however, to date, I'm advised that only one of Australia's 68 car companies is complying fully with the voluntary code of conduct. Given the failure of the voluntary code, of, uh, code for sharing service repair uh, data, what does the government intend to do to protect the consumer's choice of repairer? Minister. Uh, thank you very uh, much, uh, Mr. President, and I thank Senator Muir for that supplementary. Uh, the government is aware, uh, and uh, more specifically, uh, the Minister for Small Business and Assistant Treasurer uh, is aware of the Australian Automotive Aftermarket Association's concerns uh, regarding independent repairers' access to vehicle servicing information. Uh, with the widespread use of onboard computer systems in new vehicles, access to such data uh, is important to enable independent vehicle repairers to service. Uh, vehicles and provide consumers uh, the choice uh, of whom they wish to service their vehicle. Uh, the agreement that we've been uh, talking uh, about has dispute resolution processes whereby signatories uh, to the agreement can notify the steering uh, committee of any breaches uh, by other participating members to the agreement, which includes uh, the Federal Chamber of Automotive Industries uh, who represent uh, manufacturers. Thank you, Minister. Senator Muir, a final supplementary question. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, will the government commit to a solution that involves the mandatory sharing of vehicle diagnostic and repair information? Minister. Uh, th thank you uh, very uh, much, uh, Mr. President. Uh, while I'm not uh, in a position uh, to uh, make the sort of commitment that Senator Muir is uh, seeking there, uh, the government is, opening, uh, is open to listen further uh, to the Australian Automotive Aftermarket Association's concern. Uh, concerns in relation to these matters and uh, will be monitoring the effectiveness of the code in the lead-up to the 18 months review. Uh, I uh, would uh, encourage uh, the um, quadruple I uh, to engage with this process. Thank you, Minister.